Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our ever grinding journey of legendary blind playthrough of this game. I wonder how deep in the game we actually are. It's episode 112, so that already means something. This is uh, soon going to be tied to my longest other playthrough, which was Long War of the Chosen. Good, let's start the mission. We got our prime team ready. And these guys are not kidding. They are being serious. Still want to upgrade the PDWs. So that's a to-do for us. Other than that, pretty much good equipment. The only upgrade here would be the ancient upgrade uh, and you can already see we're saving for the Skrilla uh, no Scythe uh, was the name of the melee weapon as well as the grenade launcher let's jump into it and see what uh, strength 25 looks like okay oh yeah we fought the exact same map but uh, that was not a new Jericho market interesting they do have stores <laughs> in the new Jericho stores they only sell weapons okay well that makes sense it's a harsh world there is a sniper down here so we can very much work with that Polly moves up gets the sniper under control And let's uh, throw the turret a little bit to the front. Okay, this will give us ample of fighting opportunities in this direction as well in th uh, as in that direction. Polly stands back right here, which brings us to the most inappropriate of all Murphys. Moving up a tiny bit. And throwing up the turret. So, with that out of the way, how about... Getting a, a couple of scouts for our cars. And by scouts, I, of course, mean the good old civilians. We spotted a Skrilla. That was to be expected. It's the normal stupid hat, not, not the shouter hat, but has guns and plates, which seem to become the norm now, like ultra heavy plates. Okay, the enemies apparently attack only from uh, that angle. Which tells me we need more scouts. Okay, we are finding four at the moment. Four enemies, but that is not nearly as much as I was expecting. How do we get to this guy? Can we jump into the second uh, story uh, story building? No. Moving further, 
more civilians. Okay, all of the enemies are clustered up. Which is funny, because we can use AoE attacks. Wow, are you kidding me? This guy is behind three layers of walls. You actually need to like move around all the way. This is the by far best protected reinforcements that I've ever seen. Handing on slot over. And the new Jericho Heavy finally can make his way out of there. taking strategic high ground what was his weapon that again yeah just the standard but we do have no we don't even have the ability to war scream <coughs> excuse me so what that tells me is I need to understand how far we can throw our grenades moves up our melee combatants with war scream go up to the front as well till he gets a better shooting angle Fair enough, so. Overwatch, Overwatch, and I think we're done for now. I would not guess that we're uh, going to be able to, to really kill someone in the first turn. Specifically not <clears throat> if they are so far away. Okay, well, decent first turn. got the goo I see that's the goo hat the Skrilla instills frenzy into everyone
poor the poor civilian will likely not survive. Can't move and is highly poisoned. Okay, so on the bright side, we don't need to worry about <clears throat> making enemy contact. Because that very much has happened. Where's my return fire, by the way? Alright, technician begins to heal themselves. Cool. Couple of things from that side. Okay, now the <clears throat> main question is, shall we kill them or try to save them? Um, dashing all the way up there. We're first of all <clears throat> regaining some of the will points for everyone. Okay, maybe the idea is to just get rid of some of the harder hitting enemies, focus on the Skrilla, and then we're taking the softer ones. For instance, I don't want to deal with mind control. Nor do I really want to deal with this guy here. <coughs> Okay, cool. Now, question of the day. Can we... get all of the rest um, into paralyzation? We can work with the Skrilla to... Make sure he's taken out. And capturing a couple of uh, these guys here is not a bad idea. Good, so that's one completely down. We need to destroy the armor <coughs> of the Skrilla.
and I would also like everyone here to get a bit more armor themselves. Yeah, and still frenzy wouldn't really hit anyone. So let's not do that. Instead, the new Jericho. Guy is beginning to reduce armor on the plates. Civilian blocks the entry. Grell moves down. And starts to paralyze. <clears throat> now the question is... Are we far enough away from the Skrilla? I think the answer is yes. He will potentially load his guns or try to do something else. Spawn the goo. Walking behind the walls. Uh, so all three are nicely taken into custody. Uh, we could rush back here and start hitting this guy. Could equally deal with that guy over there. to kill anyone all three are already very much um, disabled Ready to roll. I got a sniper here however And we can take care of that side of the flank. We need a bit more armor penetration on the Skrilla. But I think we're going to be fine, all things considered. We can use uh, the rocket launcher next turn and just get a lot of work done with the Skrilla. Since the only thing that he can do is putting out goo, <clears throat> I don't believe that that's going to be such a problem. to here overwatch <clears throat> that will keep him in check now I'm pretty sure I gave him the anti goo boots not sure why he does not have them anymore but we're going to give everybody some willpower back 
Thankfully, you can still jump out of goo. Four hundred forty five. Well, that's a lot. He does have a massive strength. We were screaming, please. to that in a second. First of all I need to make sure that these guys here are out for good. Okay. They won't annoy anyone anytime soon. Adrenaline rush. Thank you, and let's go. Just to be safe, let's move a tiny bit away. One. Two. We're continuing with four and five. Out of curiosity. No armor left. <laughs> Good, let's get his at least one of his weapons. bleeding well he still has enough hit points left over Continuing to, uh, to give him as much paralysis as possible. I use uh, the respawning uh, worms as a means of refreshing our willpower. Gotta work a bit to get him fully paralyzed.
Good, Shattered Realm. Went in, paralyzed, went out. Drangs tries to hit the second gun. And we got this and this and a little bit of moving away because I don't want to be hit. Polly moves up. Nope, not a good angle. Polly continues to move up. Better angle here. Okay, end of turn. No, 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 no. Don't you fear running away. Stupid. Pretty infuriating to see how how the guy basically. Oh no, we did that. That was wrong. We wanted to kill. How the guy basically just runs away. I noticed we are out of that. <laughs> so let's re frenzy. Good job. Where was the third worm? I hate it when they disappear. Good. Well, with the Skrilla gone, a lot of things change a little bit. One of which would be, we really need to get a uh, get someone else for the mutagens. Alright, Dilly tries to <clears throat> get this guy here under control.
The idea regarding the thrower would be everybody rushes forward. willpower to <coughs> put uh, to hand over more actions unfortunately at least I don't see anyone with that ability Instead, everybody is rushing forward, and we're going to mass engage on that guy next turn. <clears throat> on it, offering ourselves to be a good target here. Problem is, I don't want to kill him, and he's already quite low. Poly moves up. And Drinks moves up. We can still use more willpower is my takeaway of that uh, of that overall fight and my second takeaway is Skrillers just don't like to be captured they are the only ones running away Dilly moves up. Yep. Follows him. Yeah, we're almost there. I got a visual. Overwatch to get him. And over here, this is going to be fun. Mainly because we're just charging in. One, two, three. <laughs> I imagine the tactic briefing. All right, everybody take your uh, neuralizer and then charge in. Stick it into that fat alien. Are you sure, sir, that that's a good idea? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Sounds like a brilliant tactical plan.
Good, end of turn. Somehow he still could move. I'm impressed because he should have not more than one action uh, uh, unit left over. There we go, that's it. Good, we captured like six or seven aliens, some of them are uh, worms. The big one, the Skrilla, was unfortunately not capturable. But the rest was, which is good. I said I don't want to uh, slice them into mutagens and we won't. Instead, we're just making food out of them. The idea would be I need more base uh, resources. Good, here we go. Look, really nice reward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the Skrilla got away. Relatively cheap refill. And we're looking good. We're looking fly. So. What I wanted to do is containment, 1,700, so that's 50, 140, 200, 260, 350, 425, yeah, almost 450, I mean, that's not bad. Which brings us back to what we wanted to do, which is build more archaeology labs. And you might think that I'm overdoing it. Two, four, six, maybe I am, who knows. But the idea would be to really solidly get an income uh, that's our next mission by the way to really solidly get an income that will fully allow us uh, to build whatever we want so we still had Europe, uh, yeah, that is Manticore 1 and 3. Let's just double check. Yes and yes. Okay, so they are on the way. Here we wanted to wait in order to give uh, them a break, which is fine. Fifty one income with those six that would be going up to 70 I think we could use a few more but we can also use scientific labs because what I noticed is we are running into the problem that the only thing that seems to be lacking behind is always the research queue right you guys see that uh, similar that uh, than I do Lots and lots and lots of projects, but we're too slow to research. And we're already at 10 labs. I don't know. Let's fix one problem first, Saiken, which is the archaeology problem. So that's another 18. So we had six nine uh, this is 30 that would be number 10 so we're at 80 per tick that's not too bad 
All things considered, I also need to watch that we're not uh, that we're not spending too much. I want to actually be able to build the weapons. Perfect havens for us would be the ones uh, that allow us to trade food in for something else. So really good havens are those. However, Manticore 8, their job is to stay in the Asian region. Manticore 1 and 3 can trade in Africa. By the way, where is Manticore 6? No, Manticore 4, sorry. Okay. Or tr uh, we can trade materials here. I uh, don't need that, thank you. Our builder queue is also really, really full, which generally is not a big problem. But at least to me, it feels like there isn't that much new that we can still build. Meaningful additions are getting s more and more sparse. JP Polya is a stronger weapon now. Yeah, and I think overall, guys, we're fine. Let's level up uh, the soldiers, and then that's the end of this episode. Speed or more willpower? I just complained about not enough will, not having enough willpower. Speed is helpful as well. Maybe I'll just wait here. Uh, you do have enough willpower. It's more a question of having in enough hit points. Inappropriate Murphy. Hmm. For him, it's more a question of speed. It seems that he's oftentimes the only one not hasted, so I want to get to that 20 speed at least. For the snipers, it very much is willpower, but they also carry quite heavy. So not being over encumbered means that they in return move faster, which means we're also raising strength. Also having enough hit points is a real bonus. Um, Shadow Realm will get more soon. Yeah, that prime team is getting really strong like all of the abilities are getting up there uh, up there all we need are a few more weapons and look at that we're, we're so close uh, to build um, uh, to build two of the ancient weapons but that tension needs to carry over until the next uh, until the next episode uh, I wish I could look into the builder's queue because this year looks like a lot is happening in the next few days. We literally put up 10-ish, 15-ish uh, archaeology labs. So this number should balloon almost all the way to plus 100 per turn, uh, which would be great for us because that means we can get more of the ancient weapons faster. Thank you for watching. If you want an ancient weapon as well, there is a raffle going on in the channel. All you need to do is click the like button and you might be able to win one. Thank you and have a good one. Bye bye.